for you. Uh, oh yeah, the French seventy-five. Two ways. Two ways. Two ways. And you know what they say about a two-way? <laughs> You'll find out in about thirteen seconds. <laughs> Welcome to Comment Cocktails. Dan, Derek, and I are going to make for you the French 75 two ways. It's like a, it's like a two-way. Two-way. Mm. Two yeah. yeah. Um, Which is like the normal way of doing yeah. things. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not like a three-way. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Two-way is just, it's just the, the way. Same. You made it sound really sexy. I know. Because yeah. <laughs> I cause You I have that kind of way of it. I, I guess, had that passion, yeah, you and did. I realized there's nothing exciting about it. It's just the normal way. Well, there is the one way. It. It, yeah. Oh, the one way. It's right. more exciting than the one way. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on how long you bow yourself. Yeah. I, mean, I, I know myself pretty well. At this point. Yeah, so, I mean. Anyway, uh, since you. What since, are we making? <laughs> we're going to make the French 35 two ways. Two ways. All right, it's going to be an ounce of London dry gin, half ounce of simple syrup, half ounce of fresh lemon juice, three ounces or so of champagne. Uh, we're going to put them into these champagne coupes. And they're, these are eight ounce glass available at awesomedrinks.com. Um, we're gonna make it two ways, one with this G-Vine Florais on, which is, I didn't expect that even though I was looking right at it. See? Uh, hold on, I'm breathe now. So this is <laughs> this is a floral gin, not dry. And then we have the dry gin beef eater. So that's completely stock, what you'd expect. And then something entirely different. This might be so way be weird and muddy and crazy because it's got so much aroma, or it's gonna be fantastic. There's only two ways. Yeah, or it's just gonna get hidden. Yeah, it could just get hidden, this? which is sometimes a waste. We never get ice. You can get ice. Oh, we definitely need ice. Jump cut. Jump cut. Uh, well, I can uh. jump cut if you want. I could talk over it. Uh, <laughs> Did you need me to squeeze more lemon? Or no? Uh, <laughs> is that you running in? Yeah. <laughs> Your arms. Did that just happen? Yeah. yeah. And then we told you. <laughs> Here he comes. If, if, you can fast forward it all. See, yeah. if you needed me to fill. And then it looks like we're talking, but we're really not talking. And then you just fast forward it. Well, that you can put the, the Benny Hill music. And I, then you're getting going like this. <laughs> I could do that. that sounds like more editing than I'm ready to do. Oh, yeah, we're back. Oh, you got this. So, shake, strain, right? Yeah. Yep. Shake, strain all but the champagne because champagne will explode. We're using. Uh, Prosecco, because Dan told me that's better to use. Yeah, I mean, you can use either. I don't think there's much. You, You're not going to use good champagne. That's the thing for it's French seventy-five. No one does. I, I lean on. Or it's going to be this expensive because you're the champagne guy. That's, yeah. And and like. I feel like that's the, the the way to go is to ask the champagne guy the right answer. I don't think that you would. Because you're basically making a gin sour and then you're chopping it with champagne. Which one yeah. is that? That is the Florizon. All right. Uh, we have another drink coming this month that would be more like uh, a daiquiri with champagne. Ooh. And then... A daiquiri champagne. Yeah. And then there's a bourbon one. I got three. Well, you have like a... The Old Cuban is basically a daiquiri with champagne. The Old Cuban? Yeah. Well, this one's called the Airmail. Maybe it's the same thing. It's mm. Cuban rum. Yeah, with champagne. And, and uh, do mint? honey and... Yeah, I think uh, you just do a garnish of mint. That's a... The old Cuban, I can't remember. Well, an old Cuban without mint. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but that's for later. First, we start with the gin because this is the most traditional. We'll also do a, a normal. We'll do a, a champagne cocktail. So we'll get the whole gamut. Everything this month is champagne based, bubbly based. Either champagne. We have good champagne, cheap champagne, <coughs> prosecco champagne, <laughs> whatever. Bubbly, bubbly. Uh, sparkling it's bubbly. wine. It's I don't okay. Care. Now, why the theme? Because of New Year's? Yeah. Sort of. It was kind of like I was thinking I needed a drink like that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But it was it was actually not on purpose. I don't do most things on purpose. No organization at all. So what I did was I, I knew I wanted to redo the French 75. I knew I wanted to do a champagne cocktail. And then I had I knew I'd have a bottle of champagne open. And then I was like, what else is there? Then I saw some other drinks, and then I was like, oh, a porn star martini. Oh, that's champagne. And then it, all of a sudden everything I had was champagne based. So you had this stream of consciousness that led you to this, is what yeah. you're saying. I checked some of those top 30 champagne cocktails, and those are usually waste of time. Um, I don't like cocktail websites anymore. Like mine's fine if you go to Recipe Dollars and make <laughs> Because it shows you a cocktail. How many times? Write your comments below where you go to find a recipe. Could be food, could be cocktails. 
and it's 17 freaking pages. It slows your browser down, ad slide in this way, that way. Oh, yeah, that's terrible. And then terrible. there's a whole story about it so they can get SEO and get all the keywords that has nothing relevant to what you want. And at the very end, under an ad, halfway, because it's not styled right, is the, is the fucking recipe. Yeah. And you're like, this is, I just wanted the recipe. It's like three things. Yeah. That took Show you me 15 the recipe, minutes to get down to. And then you could put all your SEO after it, because I'm not going to read it. Yeah. Okay. The only reason for that would be a tiki drink. Which yeah, actually has some history to it. Yeah. And a freaking lot of ingredients. Say, so when's ingredients. the last time someone ordered one of a French seventy five? Probably pretty frequently. There's a French seventy five in That's the New last Orleans. That was the last time. There's a bar specifically called, called the French, French seventy five. Yeah. So it's a pretty popular. You did? That was a good place. The last time I ordered a French seventy five, I think we were at the French seventy five. Which no, one's that? I just had one a couple weeks ago. Mm. Which one's this? Oh yeah. Is this beef eater? This is right. No, that's uh, floor zone. This is the regular one. Okay, that tastes like champagne. I see. Yeah, that too. I can't. I... Mm. <laughs> Did you put three ounces of champagne mm. or this one tastes better? Five. Which one? I think that one tastes better than the floor floral one. This one has a better like right when you're gonna take a sip, you get the the beef has a little on. Yeah, but you don't taste it. You only get the nose. You, yeah, no, it just disappears. That gin is definitely lighter. It's... Yeah. More delicate. I think the champagne is the big pet player here, yeah. either way, and the gin is really the gin and lemon and the gin really is just the oh, it actually really gin comes out though. The beef eater? No, Florizon. the floor's not like it comes out, but not like in a great way, I guess. Not in a way that makes it. Significant <laughs> you know what I mean? Like enough. you said, like the beef eater like makes the drink better. Right. This like you can taste it. It just makes it. Maybe it's just too floral. Not enough punch. Yeah. Yeah. I think you need something that's gonna. Overpower the the champagne a little bit because it is such a. Mm. I mean, it's the biggest ingredient here by use, right? Yeah. It also would depend on what kind of champagne you use. Prosecco yeah. tends to be sweeter. But at, like, you I mean, maybe because it's just more traditional too. It. Like it, the, the taste is. Yeah, yeah you're probably used mm. to it. But it, I mean, at the, if you use a better champagne, it's probably just going to taste a little bit better. If you use a cheaper champagne, it's going to be cheaper. Use a drier champagne, it's going to be drier. That thing is driving. All of the different. The question is how big is this? Can make it, this can definitely make it sweeter. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. the one thing. It can make it sweeter, which I'm fine oh. with, because it's not that sweet. Like I mean, then again, I mean, lemons. it's not like you're, you're not going to use like a really good bottle of champagne in there. Ah, no. Uh, no, because it's going to be like minerally and or you know, biscuit. The things you're going to completely lose. Yeah, yeah. Like oh, I have all these nuanced flavors in in like these top notes that I could be. Nope, go. Gotta put some lemon in there. Yeah, lemon, yeah, yeah, yeah. gin. Yeah, done. I'm gonna use a seventy-five dollar bottle of champagne, a twenty-four dollar bottle of gin, <laughs> and then what is it gonna get it done? That yeah. doesn't sound like a good idea. See, I, I think like the big lemon. difference is yeah. when you make a French seventy-five with cognac. Okay. Instead of. Why is gin. it that I do have a drink that we will make? Maybe it's the show gin. the wives. <laughs> there, there is another drink. After. <laughs> There's another drink that I have this month that has brandy that we can use cognac, but it's not, I can't remember which one it is. It's something we've done in the past. Maybe the champagne cocktail? I can't remember. Uh, so you would go with the dry gin. I would go with the dry gin. Yeah, I'd say. Dry, I like the dry gin. I, I, I don't taste enough significant difference between either of them, so I would probably go with the dry gin just because more than likely everybody else is going to have that sitting on hand. You're probably going to... Spend I think on a scale money. of one to ten, or five, as it doesn't matter, I'm six towards dry gin. I'll be with you. you know, like it's, it's not. It's a it's a big scale, impactful. and I'm not making a lot of difference in it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's a little bit more for this drink in particular. Mm -hmm. I would much rather go with yeah. with Which a dry than a dry. Again. Is this floor zone? I think it kind of flattens out the drink. It kind of like. I think it's that one. It's kind of flat. I mean, you can taste it. But I'm not a big champagne drinker either. I taste sour apples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? The, the peanut what gallery you know? just snorted at me. That's how you know you got a good joke in. <laughs> if you get her to snort, it says Manhattan. That's the holy grail. <laughs> <laughs> I holy grail that shit. But I mean, but taste that. Now that you say, I think this tastes like significantly better than. I'm not tasting anymore because we had six cocktails plus another tasting. Well, that's what we're here for. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I don't know about it. It's yeah, so close to me. I'm, I don't know. That's why I say like a it's just one tick above the middle for me going that direction. If you are into... Well, it's funny. So like I um, had 
Bully Boy, their their gin, and I was making dirty martinis. It's somewhere here. And I usually use. I only used it up. Oh, I might have. Yeah. I usually use um, Bombay Sapphire, mm. and it was like a, it was a pretty big difference where I was like, oh, I didn't really like it. Remember we made it. Yeah. Like I didn't think it was. It's yeah. interesting because usually I don't think gin makes. See, that that's your palate's thing. probably more refined than mine. Yeah, to notice those differences too. Well, I drink a lot drink, more. That's yeah. what I, I, yeah. I was trying to say that nicely. <laughs> so you're basically calling me a, an alcoholic. Thank you. you. you just, <laughs> so, so I guess if you're into French 75s, is that, is listen it, to Dan. Did you try everything? <laughs> did you try everything? <laughs> you gotta listen. Listen to Dan yes, on this yes. one. He's the one that yes. makes the most difference. He has tried everything. He tried spends everything. a lot of money on champagne. He likes champagne. I moved it. I tried everything. <laughs> <laughs> Champagne's good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> damn. Uh, inside at post live stream joke, I think that was. Yeah, 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 definitely. Uh, that's it. Uh, sidebar, some more gin drinks. Maybe I'll do a playlist. This is mainly for me to hear, but I'm going to do a playlist with like champagne cocktails and one with gin cocktails. That way you get all of them. Yes. There you go. Makes sense. All right. We're done. Please, you know, I drink. Subscribe. Gin. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, we got lead-ins. Yeah. Oh, yeah.